What happened to Johnny Kidd and the Pirates? Formed in January 1959, the original lineup consisted of two former members of the Five Nutter Skiffle Group, Johnny Kidd and Alan Caddy, with Johnny Kidd being the lead vocalist and Alan Caddy on lead guitar. Also in the band was Johnny Gordon on bass and Ken McKay on drums, plus backing singers Mike West and Tom Brown. The original group came up under the management of Guy Robinson and was signed to HMV in 1959 under the influence of producer Walter J. Ridley. Their compulsive debut single, Please Don't Touch, barely scraped into the UK Top 20, but it remains one of the few authentic homegrown rock and roll performances to emerge from the 50s. The song has been covered many times since, most successfully by the team of Motorhead and Girl School known as Head Girl. Its immediate successors were less original, and although they featured session men, most of Kid's group was then dropped in favor of experienced hands. By 1960, Kid and Caddy were fronting a new rhythm section comprising of Brian Gregg on bass and Clem Catini on drums. Their first single, Shaking All Over, was another remarkable achievement marked by its radical stop-start tempo, Kid's feverish delivery, and an incisive lead guitar solo from session man Joe Moretti. The song deservedly topped the charts in the UK, but its inspiration to other musicians was equally vital. The song and the group's proto-power trio lineup both made a strong impression on The Who, who would cover it on their 1970 live album Live at Leeds, whose CD liner notes proclaimed the original to be UK's best pre-Beatles rock single. Catini and Caddy joined a Joe Meek backing band that evolved into the Tornadoes. Deflections resulted in the formation of a third lineup. Kid, Johnny Spence on bass, Frank Farley on drums, and Johnny Pato on guitar, although the last was replaced by Mick Green. They had recently backed Cuddly Dudley as the Redcaps. On stage, the group continued to wear a full pirate emblem while the singer sported a distinctive eye patch, but they were under increasing competition from the emergent Liverpool sound. Two 1963 hits, I'll Never Get Over You and Hungry for Love, although memorable, owed a debt to the Mersey Beat sound at the expense of the unit's own identity. The following year, Green left to join the Dakotas, precipitating a succession of replacements. The Tornadoes were on the same bill in Blackpool, so their guitarist Stuart Taylor filled in until Kid found John Weeder, a fan of Green's to come aboard. Although he continued to record, a depressed leader talked openly of retirement. However, the singer reemerged in 1966, fronting the new Pirates. They recorded one single, Shades of Blue, for Polydor before a lack of success calling it a day in mid-1966. Kidd's renewed optimism ended in tragedy when on October 7th, he was killed in a car crash. He was remembered both as an innovator and for the many musicians who passed through his ranks, John Weeder, who later worked with the Animals and Family, Nick Semper, who later worked with Deep Purple, and John Morrishead are a few of those who donned the pirate costume, while the best-known lineup, Green, Spence, and Farley, successfully reestablished the pirate's name during the late 70s. They reformed in 1976 and released four albums, Out of Their Skulls in 1977, Skull Wars in 1978, Happy Birthday Rock and Roll in 1979, and A Fistful of Dubloons in 1981. They also featured on compilation albums and had notable chart success with Out of Their Skulls and Skull Wars. This lineup disbanded in 1983 but reformed in 1999, releasing live in Japan 2000, and continued performing until 2005. After Frank Farley's retirement in 2005, Mike Roberts replaced him and the band continued until Mick Green died in 2010. After the mid-80s, various lineups of the Pirates released albums such as Still Shaking in 1987, Land of the Blind in 1998, and Skullduggery in 2006. 
Following Green's death, members formed new projects. The Spellcasters were created in 2013, releasing Casting the Spell, while Johnny Spence continued with Doctor's Order, releasing Full Throttle No Breaks in 2009 and Hot and Rocking in 2011. Another Pirates lineup with Joe Moretti, Brian Gregg, and Clem Catini has also performed occasionally. And that's what happened to Johnny Kidd and the Pirates. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Give me some facts about Johnny Kidd and the Pirates that I failed to mention in this video. And let me know who I should do next on the channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.